The most predictable thing about homemade TV is that it's experimental. Each program in this series is a reflection of the individual or the group who creates it, or to use our homemade metaphor, who cooks it. Most of us local cooks have been experimenting with different content and with different formats and styles. But tonight we invited some friends who are experimenting in a much more radical sense. They're playing with the very elements of television picture and sound, the physical elements of voltages and frequencies. They treat these sophisticated electronic materials like other artists treat clay or paint or wood, or to use their words, as their ingredients to cook with. Tonight, Woody and Stena Vasoka um, will give us a lesson in their kitchen and a taste of their brew. Woody. Woody, this is Sandy in the control room. Can you tell us what you've been doing? One of the, the introductory section. We're going to talk of oscillators as a uh, as a first ingredients in non-camera image making. Uh, we will take actually an outline of a human hand, and then we'll put a texture into outside and inside. So, uh, any way of getting from me to the hand now? Farag. Now, yeah, Bunny, keep the hand quite straight because if you put a shadow, then we see through. Now, Stena, uh, changed uh, one of the textures. This is the inside texture. By turning a knob, if there's any way, the way we control these things actually are through the knobs, of course. And now by turning those knobs, we can induce different directions, different size, and uh, and uh, uh, sort of we can introduce either busy or more quiet uh, a texture. Now, let us go back. Very really good. Now, Stena, uh, would you invert on our machines? You can also invert the outside into the inside. Uh, do it again once and again. That means the texture that has been inside now is on the outside and uh, that inside is, I mean the outside is inside. Now we can control of course the other texture as well. So let's get around into that right. And uh, so in order to, uh, to introduce another tool, uh, let's talk right now about the colorizing. Of course these pulses coming of the oscillators are black and white and then uh, we have a, a, a box called a colorizer and by by turning the knobs and uh, adjusting the levels we can select certain neighborhoods of color now Estena is doing now uh, the colorizing inside of the inside texture I do it slowly very good and now yeah, find some kind of, yeah, the, the blue side, yeah, go stand on the blue side inside and try to, uh, to, to get the outside color in some kind of a warmer tone, yeah, like reddish, yeah. Is there any way of getting chroma, a higher chroma, right, right. Yeah, that's still very close, if you get kind of opposite, switch them accidentally. We have also switches that allow us to, to, to switch from one color to the other. Yeah, stay now by switching try to find an opposite a more more graphic yeah right right for example this is green and blue right and uh, of course this is like a, a, a little rehearsed sequence but we can also go totally wild we, we just can wander through the through the through the knobs and and, and switches stay now why don't you just uh, go around and find a different mode yeah right and so the inspiration yeah, stay on that yeah uh, yeah and also do some work in the oscillators in this mode this is an interesting mode and turn them both at the same time so we get the perceptional effect of that all right now as you saw we, we 
we, do, we now got accidentally the bars in the front of the hand. All right. And Stena, maybe, yeah, that's an interesting sort of way of inter interference. You go back to the, to the, to the, the mixer gear so we can find that clear mode of separation. Yeah, as you see, we are almost getting lost in it. There's so many buttons. Maybe you didn't see the shadow of the buttons. There are about, about 60 buttons on it, and each of them means something. Okay. That's it. Hmm. Let us introduce you to another of the electronic image ingredients, which is the video feedback. Uh, feedback is uh, a relationship between a monitor and a camera. In uh, audio, it's uh, like a relationship between the speaker and the microphone. And as you know, in audio, the sound can be generated by that uh, mostly undesirable feedback. Now let us see what will happen when we point the camera into the monitor. Let me zoom in slowly. As you see, instead of uh, loud sound and audio, we have that soft image in video. And it has its, its movement, its self-generated movement. And uh, it behaves rather, rather plastic, like liquid, like. And we can control it by different zooming, mo motion of zooming, f-stopping, like we can close and open the f-stop, or any, any additional processing. Now, the same way, of course, we can add a color to it, and that's going to again be picked up on a differences in black and white scale. So this is our electronic art material, and we usually combine it with another element, so, but this is one of the base of our, of our work. This is the stock. Now, let me try to show you some other aspects of uh, the feedback. When we there is another ingredient to the feedback. When we tilt the camera 90, for example, 90 degrees, then we induce a spiral development into the image. As you see, we can get those flowering effects. And then by careful control, we can induce various developments into it. Can we key that? Uh, I'd like to point out another aspect of this particular hookup. It's the uh, inter interaction between sound and image. Like we have connected this video signal with a sound synthesizer, which is right here. And now by interacting or changing the video level here, we can induce a modulation of this sound synthesizer. And then we can, of course, change the pitch. And in that sense, it's like a very, very primitive electronic organism. It can live on its own once the cycle is induced and makes, makes, it makes its own sounds. And it can stay alive as long as we don't cut the electricity.
Now let us bring a, uh, some, a human element in it. It's the face. Face of Tony, Tom, what's the other name? Tuber. Tom Tuber. He's going to, he, he's, he's going to lend his face to this experiment. Okay, let's pin him in. Right, I got him here. And he has to be centered. Now, can someone center the camera? Very well, very well, very well. And now let us do a different modes of processing. Now let's start from some simple pattern, okay. Yeah, let's invert him. Okay, could you open more that lens, maybe? Stretch it. Okay. some color to it this So in this case, the, the face is, is forming an electronic mask in the front of this feedback, and then it influences the development of the, of the, of the feedback. And by inverting the mode, we can either make the face transparent through its high whites or low blacks, or we can select the feedback to control the face transparency.
amount of feedback is burning inside of his face creates a tunnel. Now we are going to present a little jam session here. We are going to use uh, objects in the studio and uh, process them and try to set them into sort of a development. It uh, will be purely improvised and uh, usually we do those things as uh, private exercises, but uh, let, uh, let, you, let uh, us uh, sit here for a while and watch what uh, we are up to. <laughs> 